Okay, so it's been a while. The next tier list was supposed to be something that was completely new, but I felt like while I have this saved, I should update it because I've been playing Genshin quite a bit recently and I've, I've pretty much caught up to like the, the new characters at least. I haven't caught up completely in Sumeru, but I have caught up to the new characters and I, I wanted to rate them now because I left a lot of characters out last time and even characters on the list, they need to get updated. So I'm not going to explain what the tiers mean. I'm not, I'm not like, this is an updated video. If anyone needs an explanation for that, like Mona, then go watch the other video because I'm not going <laughs> to go on a six minute fucking tangent on why Mona's the cutest character like ever created ever again. Hopefully not, because as annoying as that was for people to listen to, it was also annoying for me to edit. That lasted way too long. Alright, so anyway, let's see who we got. Okay, so Yao Yao. I, I think I made the tier list before she got released. I was just judging her by, by like her um, her design. And I can safely say, <laughs> now that we have her, I think she goes over here. Yes, Yao Yao is cuter than Hu Tao. It's so weird because I, I hate most of the lollies. Well, there's like five lollies in the game. I hate most of the lollies in the game. No, not hate. Hate is a bad word. It, it, it's, it's an incorrect word, we'll say that. But I definitely... I'm, I'm indifferent towards the lollies. Let's just say it, say that. So Yayo was a surprise hit. Okay, wait, can I say that? Because, okay, I was lying because Chi Chi and like Sayo are right there under her. I was lying. Okay, I take that back. I'm just saying, like, when I think of lollies in Genshin, I, I, I'm i like, ah, uh, kind of forgettable. Yayo is fucking amazing. She's so cute. Her idol animation, the one where she like hugs the rabbit or whatever. That's just one of the cutest things ever in the game. I'm serious. It's one of the cutest things in the game. Okay, up next. Let's see who we got. Oh, yep, Sucrose. She's going up. She's going up a tier. I'm going to argue that she is cuter than Barbara. She is cuter than Eula. She's cuter than Venti. When I was looking at this again, it's been a while since I watched that video. I haven't really watched that much since I uploaded it. And I was looking at this tier list, I'm like, why the fuck is Venti so high? Because he is cute. It's just like, cuter than Eula and Barbara? I think it's a fair spot for him though, so I'm not going to change it. I'm not going to go through the effort of watching my video again, even though I'm confused as to why he's this high. But I'll keep him there. Okay, yeah, but Sucrose, I'm bringing her up higher. So, one of the things about Sucrose is, I wasn't a huge fan of her character design. Like, her hair, to me, it looks, I hate saying weird, like, it looks weird, that's such a, like, vague thing to say, but it's just something about, like, her hair design didn't really, uh, hit with me. Because usually I can say why I don't like and, and, like, why I like certain things, but with Sucrose, she's kind of just, like, a mystery to me. That aside, the reason why she rose she, she got this far, because in the new event, one of the newer events, I think it was the Windbloom event, where um, Kole visits uh, Mondstadt, Sucrose was just, she was just popping off with cute moments, it was like fucking insane, it was just like, she, she was like coming in from every direction, just like being the cutest character in the fucking game, and obviously I'm exaggerating, but like, she, she was being like stupidly cute, and it was, it was just insane. Also, I never realized it, but she's always blushing, and that's like the cutest shit ever, so, Sucrose, that's her new spot. Good for her. I'm gonna bring Razor up above Chi Chi. Just one spot. And we need to consider this an accomplishment because he is the only male looking character <laughs> that's made it this far. And I'll tell you why. You wanna root for him. Sometimes, depending on who you are, you wanna head pat him. Uh, you know, that kind of thing. Razor goes high. The only thing kind of keeping him back for me personally is his character design. I'm not a huge fan of his character design. From chest down, I'm not a huge fan of his character design. I'll say that. Kole. Am I gonna bring her into this territory? I kinda want to. And this is a character I missed that I wanted to bring up to. I don't think she goes up that high. But she does make it into a new tier because I made a post about this. I wanna get this out of the way first before I forget. When Kole first released, she released a little bit after I stopped playing the game. I stopped playing the game for like six months. And then I came back and I'm like, who is this character? I'm never gonna let her up. Okay, whatever. Well, I ended up doing it anyway, because I had nothing else better to do. And it was worth it, because she is so cute. Let's let's talk about Bolay and Amber first. That is the, the cutest name. When, when I read that name, I was like, what, what is this like language? What does it even mean? And the lore behind it is as simple as Bolay. Kole, Kole and Amber. Kole and Amber. Kole really likes Amber, so she names her like the thing she throws after her and Amber, and that's just fucking adorable. So what else, what else does Kole have going on? Um, watching her try to interact with Sucrose in the new event was probably the top 10 cutest thing to happen in Genshin. And I'm not saying that lightly, because Genshin is a really cute game, and Mona exists within the game. 
So, when you're competing against all of that... Okay, I'll say top 15. Top 15. Top 15 cute things in the game, but that's still really high. For the amount of cute moments in Genshin, that's that's extremely high. So I think she deserves a spot right here. Extremely cute. At the top of extremely cute. And the character I wanted to update that I missed was Ganyu. So she goes up here. Why do I say this? Because I've been... I've always played Ganyu quite a bit. She has, she's on my- I have I have a team called the Anti-Bullshit Team. Where like, it's just my strongest characters in like, one team. So like, I don't get tilted ever. Like, if I'm doing something like- and I don't want to get pissed off. Like, if I'm going through Inazuma. I'll just pull out like, Ganyu and like, Shanling and just like, go crazy. And it took me a while to realize, I praise Ganyu for being so cute. While, while, while I'm playing the game, not in that video, but while I was playing the game. I'm like, wow, Ganyu is so adorable. And just for the amount that I praise her, I have to put her in the cutest tier. I'm not going to say she's above Noel or Zinyan, but what I'm saying is, she's really fucking close. Okay, next character. Oh, Yunjin needs to go up. Her personality isn't one that's really cute. And I use that to, to describe a lot of the characters, but I need I need to look at it this way. Yunjin might not have a cute personality, but her character design is just so... She just looks so cute that I have to bring her up above Chi-Chi. It's, it's as simple as that. That's all I can say. She's just that cute. Shinobu. You know, I said I was kind of disappointed with her, like, her character overall. Even just down to, like, her, 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 her playstyle. But, I will say, her idol animation alone puts her in the really cute tier. Because there's one where she takes off her mask, and then she looks at you, I guess. And then she, like, really quickly puts her mask back on. That's cute. Also, her shorts are really cute. I like shorts. Shorts are fucking adorable. Um, so I think I'm gonna put her actually higher than Chi Chi and Yunjin. I, you know, I, now that I think about it, I really like her hair too. Um, she's above Razor and Fischl, but barely. Let's put, let's say that. All right, going down the list. Bennett is cuter than... He, he's right next to Beto. Um, the reason I say Bennett is cute is it's for the same reason as Razor. Except I think Razor, he's a lot better at it. Let's just say, say that. Keychain can go up. So so why so why did Keychain go from like bottom of Q to like top of Q? It's because while she she lacks the personality of a Q character, she is still like her design. Okay, twin tails. She has like the hair horns. Her outfit. It's all really cute. It's like cute inspired. So just for that alone, I do find her cuter than the the, the other characters over here. And so that's that's where she goes. Yeah. I, I was very wrong when I put her here. I put her here only for her design. And yes, I do think her design is still really cute. But there's something else I was forgetting. It's her idol animation. Because I have her as a character. I just never paid that much attention to her because I was like, kind of disappointed her when I, when I when I got her. Which led me to forget about this cute idol animation that she has. I think she, she's like playing around with like, like her, her like lightning fox spirits or whatever. And she does an extremely cute like giggle. You can't hear anything because I guess they didn't want, they don't like do that. That animation alone is really fucking cute. And I'm willing to put her over here. Is it, should I, shouldn't rate this guy? Um, I'm not going to put him that low. Fun fact, you know, I said I wanted to like rate all the other characters, but like, I... Honestly, I paid so little attention to this character. Like, this character in particular, I've just paid no attention to him at all. I don't even know his name. I think it's like, uh, like Shino and ha Hakuin or something like that. I have no idea what this character is. I just know that he's a Nemo character, that's it. But you know what? Uh, I'll take the L and just say that he's not that. But why am I going that far? Because I, I still need to go through this right here. Um, Klee, I want to like... Okay, Klee. I don't know if I said it in my other video, but... Klee is like try hard cute. Klee is what you get when you like. Klee is the cute equivalent of like putting too much frosting on a cake. I already wait. I, I've used this analogy in a video before. Oh my fucking god! I, I'm reusing analogies now. Whatever. That okay. It still works. Klee is just too much. She's too cute. You know. I know it's like what, what what's what is what is what is too cute? That makes no sense. Everything she does is supposed to be cute, but I, I honestly. I've never been able to say, like, every, anytime she's on screen, like, during an event or whatever, I've, I've never been able to, like, sit there and be like, wow, that, that was really cute. Am I biased? Maybe. Do I feel like I'm being biased? No. I just genuinely feel like Klee is a character that tries a little too hard to be cute. And I, I will die on the hill. Okay, so let's go through here now. Lisa. I got some shit for putting her this low. However, the shit that I got 
no no one ever okay here's the thing about these like gear lists people will, will disagree with you and they won't say why their favorite character should be higher i will say with her new outfit she does look cute but that's only if we count her outfit does her alternate outfit count yes okay bottom of cute tier no okay she stays where she belongs so you can take that however you want if you wanted to include her um, academia outfit put her in cute i can agree with that but if if you if you take lisa as she is and you put her anywhere like besides like no i'm gonna disagree with you until you give me like an actual reason dory i don't think dory's gonna move up much but i will say i didn't give her enough credit when i ranked her because here's the thing the reason i hopped back into the game is because i saw her i was like who's that character she looks cute and that's what i was forgetting i pulled for her because i thought she was cute so just based off of that alone I have to put her in the cute tier. However, her voice—I I will stand by this. I said it in another video. I don't feel—I don't I like—I don't want to like repeat myself over and over because I know that's annoying. But seriously, there are certain aspects of her that are so bad it drags her down. So she goes here. Just her appearance, she goes somewhere in the cute tier. But if we factor in everything else, then she gets dropped down. Okay, so the characters that have been ranked, all of them—they've been updated. Looks good. Um, these bottom three—they're never gonna change. <laughs> I okay. You can never convince me to like ride in Shogun. I thought she was so cool. Like this character can be so cool. She could be like the female Zhang Li. And I was met with disappointment. I'm not gonna get into it like I did last time. All I'm saying is you can never like these three characters, you can never convince me. These three are like the biggest disappointments I've ever had in the game. And I know the, these I know like people, especially like Ryan Shogun, I know she's actually popular, but like I don't care. I, I could, th my, this video could get disliked into fucking like holy hell. I don't I don't give a fuck. I like I don't understand how people like like these characters. Appearance like the character design. Sure yes okay now I understand. But like their personality and the way they're written or the way they like integrated into the story, it it was just it was really bad and it felt some of it felt extremely forced. I will say Shenhe does the least of she, she she's the least offensive. That's why she's higher than those two. Shen, Shen He is borderline, she's tolerable. I'll say that. Shen He is tolerable. But anyways, rent aside. Next character. Hainari. Nope. But where do I place him? Oh, right here. He doesn't really do anything cute. I think we, we can all agree on that. He doesn't do anything cute. So, during that long period of me not playing Genshin, she's one of the characters I just randomly saw, and I was like, whoa, she's cute. And here's another thing it has been a long time. Since I've wanted to pull for a 5 star. I think the last 5 star I was just like, I was excited to pull for was Yilan. So Nilo comes around and I'm like, she looks cute. I want to pull for her. And, and the first time she was, uh, she had her banner, I didn't do anything. I, I didn't pull because I just like didn't feel like pulling. And that was a huge mistake because she had a rerun like right now. And she is like the, first, uh, first of all, I'll say that she's the cutest Sumeru character. Straight up. She's the cutest Sumeru character. So let's let's place her. <laughs> She's very high. I love her. Orange hair, blue eyes. That's a classic combo. You can't go wrong with that. Midriff is cute. Her voice is surprising. I thought her voice was gonna be deeper, but turns out it's more on the cute side. Always welcome. She's really cute. That's all I can say. She is just adorable. And here's here's the, the cool thing about okay characters like Nilo and Shanling, and I guess Yoimiya Mia to some extent, they do all this without a single ounce of gap mohe. So Mo Mona, okay Mona and like Zinyan, they're this high because like they're gap mohe. But Nilo, okay Nilo, um, Noel, Amber, Shanling, and Yo Yoimiya, Mia, they're all there just because of how it's just straight up cute they are, just straight up. Whether it be their voice, their voice lines, the way they talk, their designs, you know. I'm not even sure if it's pronounced Nilo, I'm gonna be honest. I don't even know if it's pronounced Nilo. Ah, uh, oh, I forgot his name. He was in the event. What's his name? It starts with a C. It's Sino. That's his. Sino. Um, Sino's goofy. He's a goofball. As a character, okay, if this is like how much I like them as a character, he'd be like S tier. I think he's like easily one of the funniest characters in the game. So where would I put him? Well, this is a cute tier list. Um, I, his design is not really cute. However, are we counting his like shitty puns as as like cute? Because if yes, I'm gonna put him like right here. 
Candace. Uh, I was. Her hair is kind of cute. That's as far as she's going. Nahida. I think Nahida. Okay, Nahida. Her design is the cutest of the lollies, I think. However, I will say. Because okay, because so they're rerunning her banner at the same time as a uh, Nilo. So for me, it was a tough choice because I like both of their designs. I was like, yo, dude, who do I pull for? And you know what the deciding factor was? Nahi does run animation. That run animation for Klee and Chi Chi, it makes sense. It looks right. And I could see it on, I can imagine it on like Diona and like, I guess Dory to a lesser extent. On Nahida, it just didn't look right. And then there's the fact that she's a five star. So like, you couldn't even give the five star lolly like a different run animation. Especially since like the, the, the normal lolly running animation doesn't really suit her, in my opinion. Just for that alone, I didn't pull for her. I pulled for Nilo instead. I mean, I, I was always planning on pulling for Nilo, but like, I really like sealed the deal, so to speak. Uh, so Nahida, she's still really cute. And she has a cute voice. So I would put her right here. That's perfect. Oh, Layla. I, you know, I did not expect Layla to be as cute as she was. She's another, uh, holy sh- I never realized, but her eyebrows are fucking huge. I can see them all the way from over here. I guess, uh, she, she shares something with, uh, another cute character. I really- I think Layla has one of the best designs in, uh, of the Sumeru characters. I think she has one of the best designs. And that's something I want to touch on real quick. I haven't been really impressed, because I usually- I pull characters based on their design. It's the, the reason I haven't been like, really excited for pulling it in Genshin since Yilan was because none of the character designs really, like, struck me. Even Yilan and, like, Shanhe was just like- I was like, uh, I'll pull for them. But I wasn't really excited to do it. But Layla, so Lay Layla comes out and then she just, I think, I was like, yo, she has to be a five star. And I find out she's a four star. So where am I going with all this? Well, I'm saying she's really fucking cute. I don't know if she's better than two girls. I want to put her like, okay, I want to put her above two girls just because on her own, she's still cute. Whereas a lot of Sucrose's cuteness comes from her like interacting with people. So I think I'll put Layla above two girls just a little bit. Um, I'll be honest, I have zero experience with this character. I don't even know her name. I don't even know if she's a 5 star or a 4 star. I forgot she was in the game. Um, I don't know how to pronounce this guy's name. All, all hate them? All hide them? I think that's how you say it? Um, I'll say this. This guy's fucking dripped out. But this, is, this isn't a drip tier list. This is a Q tier list. That, that, that doesn't mean shit. I'll put him right here. They, uh, you know, I'm biased against her. You know, I've heard that people like just don't like her because she like sucks. She's not meta. I don't give a fuck about any of that. I don't give a fuck about meta. You know what I give a fuck about? I managed to ac accidentally pull for her. I was just chilling. I was like just talking to my friends, like playing Genshin, and um, I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. Then I then I I, I just clicked on like um times ten pull. Then I got her. So she reset my shit. But that's not her fault now, is it? Well, that still doesn't matter because I don't like her design. Her personality isn't cute, and I don't like her design. You know. I remember when I first saw her, I was like, I don't want to, because, okay, I don't want to come off as, like, extremely, like, rude or anything. But to me, sometimes it feels like the character designer of Genshin tries to force some things in. And in this case, I think Dea is a really good example of this, uh, of this, where those highlights, they, they look random. I don't know how anyone else feels about her. I think that looks forced as fuck. It just looks like, it just looks like it's there to make her look, like, more unique. And that's the, that's the only reason, that's it. Someone can tell me if I'm wrong, that's fine. And then, okay, the rest of her design, I'm not gonna call it cute. She she looks she looks cool. Besides her hair, I think she looks really cool. But she's not making it very far onto the list, though. I'll tell you, I'll tell you that. Oh, uh, this fucking guy. I forgot his name. Isn't his same name like Michael? Fucking like normal ass name. That's his name, right? Mikey? Um Mika. Uh I have him. That really I guess he looks cute. I, that, that's as far as he goes. I, that's all I know about him. All I know about him is that he looks cute. That's it. This guy, I actually like his design. Uh, that doesn't matter though. Baiju, I can't wait for him to come out. I need someone to replace Kole on my fucking team. Not that I hate Kole. I love Kole. It's just that my team could really use a healer. I will say, but I don't need to say anything because he's like, just look at him. He's not like, you know, no one's going to call him cute, right? So like, he's, he's below Zhao. I don't know who the fuck this is. I guess he looks cute. Should go with the bottom of Q. Should I just rate this character like based on how she looks? That's where she goes. Um, I don't know what this is. I have no idea what this is. By the way, can I just say this? If Paimon was on this list, 
I would make a new tier tier below no and call it like fuck off and put Paimon there. Paimon is never cute. Okay, she she's like Klee, except imagine if the cuteness was like offensive, like like just annoying. Her voice is so high pitched for no reason. She's always screaming. I don't want to come home and like relax and play Genshin. It's like, okay, now I have like another like screaming in my ear while I'm trying to like chill out and play Genshin. Fuck Paimon, seriously. If anyone here is watching this video that plays, also plays Tower Fantasy, I don't play it anymore. I played it like six months ago. There's a mascot character in Tower Fantasy named Mia, who's like Paimon's equivalent. Take Mia, please. Oh, like fucking Mihoyo. Buy Mia from whoever makes Tower Fantasy. Like, I'd give them, like give them all the money you make from the whales. Take Mia and replace Paimon with her because Mia is way cuter and she doesn't have an annoying voice. And I don't, I don't know how anyone else feels about this. I, I, I try to keep my Genshin experience limited to like actual in-game. I will never look up anything like on my window. I stay off of the Twitter. Uh, I stay off Twitter in general. Um, I try not to look up anything like even like artifacts or like team builds or whatever. I try not to look anything up. I, I just don't want it in my face. So where uh, where I was going with that was just like, I was kind of wondering where like other people think of Paimon. Cause I know like me as a person, I get annoyed really easily sometimes. So I'm wondering if like other people like kind of share this issue with me. Where Paimon is just like fucking annoying. And the worst thing is, she never really says anything important, does she? I would much rather have the the, the traveler have like a voice instead. Anyways, that, that's my Paimon rant for the video. Um, Okay, I'm sorry if this is like a dead topic. Because I don't keep up with the Genshin community. I don't, I don't know what's been talked about. I don't know what hasn't been talked about. All I know is, I don't like Paimon. Yeah, I'll, I'll say this. Okay, for the, for like the Raiden Shogun and like Yilan and like the Shenhe fans that fucking hate me and like want me dead, just know this. These three characters are like 10 times better than Paimon could ever be. They're cuter too, with whatever that's worth. Anyways, that, that, that's, that's the update. I, next tier list, I'm not gonna do it immediately. I won't take my time. But the next tier list, I will actually have to do a little bit of a deeper dive into Genshin. Here's a hint. On the next tier list, Beidou is going to be double, like, she would be double S tier. Let's just put it like that. I've also been toying around with the idea that, uh, okay, like, what makes Mona so cute? Because I always talk about, like, the Mona's so cute. I do, like, in, like, across, like, 10 different videos. And at that point, why not just, like, make it into one video? Why not just be like, okay, like, why is Mona cute? Or, like, why is Joey Mia cute? And, and it's not just limited to Genshin. Why is, like, uh, Nijika from Boshi the Rock fucking adorable? Something like that. I've been thinking about that. I've noticed that my fucking subscriber count has doubled since I released that, 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 that other tier list video. Yeah, that's great. I'm glad people are interested to hear my quote-unquote shitty opinions. I will say, this channel will never have a uh, an upload schedule because... Video making isn't my biggest hobby. I have a lot of things I like to do, and video making is like, if I like, if I could make a list of like five of my hobbies, video making would probably be like number four. If you see one of your favorites in a very low spot that you, that you think should be higher, if you want to call me like retarded for putting them this low, then at least, at least say why, you know? But yeah, that's the end of the video. Um, well, well outro, I need, I need an outro. Um, I don't know. Um, I have this cool Ganyu figure now. I'll put it, I'll put it on screen. I'll let the video fade out.